Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Save Emails to PDF extension by CloudHQ. So CloudHQ has all kinds of uh, extensions and add-ons for web browsers and Gmail and so on. Uh, so once you get to the page here, you just click on Add to Chrome like any other extension. It should work for uh, Chrome or Edge. Add to Extension. Okay, it'll kind of reload your Gmail if you have it open. And then just kind of give you a little tutorial if you want to see it. So what you'll notice, because it's pretty simple to use, is now you'll have this little down arrow here. So you pick an email. It could be a single email or a whole conversation back and forth with different threads. Click on that, save to PDF, text, or HTML. We'll do PDF. It'll take a second to load it and download it. So it's automatically downloaded, and it'll actually put it in your downloads folder. So it has the email information, then it has all the uh, pages and so on. It splits it up and puts a page number by each one. So it's pretty cool. So if you want to go to the settings, if you once you sign up for the uh, Cloud HQ, actually I don't know if you might not even need to make an account, but if you do make an account, you'll be able to access all your settings and stuff a lot easier if you want to use some of their other apps, like I have this uh, Web Clipper one too. So you can click on Manage Defaults. I'm saying it should put this Cloud HQ up in your Gmail as well. That's what I'm trying to say there. So you have the options here for merge all conversations into one, or each conversation as a separate document, which is kind of cool. Uh, then you have the order, paper size, page numbers, embed attachments, make a zip file, add a password, uh, compact format, a little less information, conversation view, and so on. If you click on Go to App Dashboard, it kind of takes you to the same thing, and it shows you the uh, downloads that you've done or converted before, so you kind of have a listing of them. And you could start the wizard here, export to Google Sheets and Google Docs. And if you click on Settings, it'll take you back to your settings. So if you click on Show All Apps, it'll show you what Cloud HQ apps you have installed. So here's the uh, one we just did, here's the one I have before. And here's some other available ones you could download and install. So we'll probably go over some of those in the uh, future here just to try some of these out as well. And then, of course, if you don't want it, you just click on your extensions here and remove from Chrome, and then it'll be gone. So I'll put a link in the description uh, where you could download it, and then you could try it out and make an account for Cloud HQ if you want, if you want to you know, really check out the settings and some of their other apps as well and take it from there. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.